Watching it come true, it's taking over you oh, This is the greatest show Thanks for coming, it's showtime I don't know how I got where I am Take the next, split spill Howdy y'all, Clay Cooper here with Tourist Tuesday, live at the Clay Cooper Theater, visiting with the Clay Cooper Tech Crew. Well, some of the Clay Cooper Tech Crew. We have a couple more uh, gals that run Spotlight for us, but they're a little camera shy and they refuse to be on camera today. So, uh, and that's okay. We got the guys here and they're the meat of the sound booth back here. We have Troy Boy on the end. Howdy, howdy. That's Troy Coyne. We have Mark McClellan, otherwise known as Mac. And he does uh, all these Tourist Tuesday videos. He's usually the one behind camera. But today we're going to have him in front of the camera. And he also runs video and puts together all the graphics. And then Chris Jones, otherwise known as Jonesy. Hello. And Jonesy does, uh, Jonesy is our sound engineer extraordinaire. Let's start with old Troy Boy. Now, I've known Troy Boy for, uh, how old were you? When, when I started working with you, I was 13. He was 13, y'all. You were 23. Wow. Are we 10 years apart? So here we are 10 years later. Yeah. And we're still doing it. That's right. <laughs> now, yeah, uh, I worked at the 76 Music Hall, which is the Grand Country uh, Music Hall now. And, and a Torbo was down there, and his mm -hmm. daddy worked on the show yep. down there. And he was always hanging around the light board and the drums. And, uh, yeah. And, and yeah, well, my dad started working there, so I just tag along to work. And there was two things I was into, which was the drums and the production. So I'd sit in the booth, which with the guys watching the shows and I really took to lighting. I just was always around it. So it was there for me to do. Yeah, yeah. that's cool, man. Yeah. Now, now you've been in this, this very building for how, how many years? Uh, 20 years. When I was 18, so I'm 38 now, I started working here with the Osmonds. Mm -hmm. And I worked here uh, running Spotlight and Stage. And I, through the years, like I would leave and just always end up coming back. So I went away and worked for Royal Caribbean and traveled the world and I worked other shows here in town, but I always ended up back here with uh, Osmonds. There was a show called Ripley's Believe It or Not. Yeah. It was here for a short time. That was really interesting. It was very interesting. It had all kinds of novelty acts from around the world. Uh, Tony Orlando. I worked with Legends while they were here. And then uh, Magnificent Variety and Osmonds mm -hmm. the year before you guys mm -hmm. bought the place. And then here we are. That, I always joke with Troy, too. I said, you know, you've been here long enough. You're te technically not an LD anymore. I think you're technically furniture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah furniture. Nice. Like, I still get people that will always, like, come and find me. Like, do you know what this switch does up in the attic? <laughs> yeah. Because I've every inch of this building, I know. I've done that. About. I've done that a lot. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. But, yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun here. And, and Osmonds, they always, you know, the yeah. stage used to be ice. Ice, I remember that. They had that. ice skaters and um, yeah. then fountains on the sides and they were always up for doing something big. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there was never a dull moment with them either. So That's fantastic. Yeah, it was great. And and speaking of that, now, Jonesy, his, your dad worked in this building. Yes, he did. What, who, who was here at that time? Was that Osmonds? That was or? the Osmonds, and there was the Texans at one point. He was, he was here. here with the Texans? Yes, and the Osmonds. Wow, because that's, that's what my first memory of this theater was in. When I moved here in 86, was coming over here. I worked at the Jubilee across the road, and I would come here literally two or three days a week and watch the Texans show because I just loved J.D. and the guys and, and uh, Arnie Arnold and the comedians, you know. I just thought, man, this is the coolest thing ever. Oh, yeah. So he was running sound then. Yes, and J.D. was on stilts out front. Out front, all, out there uh, <laughs> passing out 8x10 uh, photos of himself on yes. stilts. Man, and you, so your dad sat in that did a trailer bit. behind the building, right too. Right back here by the basketball goal. That's right. I used to come back here and shoot hoops with him. Isn't that crazy? Uh, yes, it wow. is. And your dad was in that booth where you stand every day now. How long have you been doing sound in Branson, would you uh, say? Since 96. At Boxcar Willie Theater. Okay, that's and so good. Right. Husky and Ronnie Prophet. What was it like working with Boxcar? He was pretty straightforward to the point. Yeah, that's yeah. He, he was. <laughs> yeah. He was a good guy, but he didn't. He didn't hold back any punch. I mean, you, he, you knew what he wanted because he'd tell you. Yeah, he didn't beat around the bush. No, he didn't. He would tell you what he wanted, and he'd be like, you're going to get it done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I think the only stern thing he ever said is I knew his real name, so he walked by, and I said, hey, Liesl. I'm he didn't he like turned that. around and he said, you will call me Boxcar. <laughs> 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 so I never did it again. Yeah, I guess, I guess you didn't. 
Anything what do you else? like most about mixing live sound? It's just like playing an instrument because I grew up playing drums and playing guitar. Mm -hmm. So it's that feeling of not being on stage, but kind of being on stage. Yeah, you get you in have, that mode and you just kind of... You have control of it. Yeah. I mean, if you get mad at one of us, you can just make us sound really bad. No, I don't do that. I know, but you could. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. <laughs> well, and that, and that's a great point that you know that I was thinking of uh, just the other day is, and that's why I love working with and respect these guys so much because somebody told me one time it's like, well, you know, you guys, you guys are entertainers just like the guys on stage. You just do it in a different way. That's you true. Perform in a different way. Yeah. And what I love about working here and with these guys is that they really take a pride in that, and we're we're the kind of guys that. If you don't notice us, we're doing our job very well. That's true. But but we have such a good time. Detroit designing his looks and, and the things that, that Chris does with audio and, and the things that I'm doing with video, really trying to, to, to give as much as we can to the overall look and, and the product on stage. And well, combine that with, with, with the great guys that we've got on stage. That's it's right. It's fun. Yeah, well, it all comes together. You, ta you take away the lights and the sound and the video behind it, it's it'd be pretty rough. The show would be pretty... Pretty uh, be hard, hard to hear. Us. And It'd be dark. hard to see us. It'd be, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And 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 I've always gone by the rule of thumb. If if things just go dark and it gets quiet and everybody's sort of looking around, I know it's probably me. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> and speaking of you, let's hear your background, Mac. Now you're from Florida. Uh, no, I'm I'm you're actually from, from, from I'm I'm right across the river from Paducah, Kentucky. Right. So um, everybody knows where Paducah, Kentucky. Hardly anyone knows where Grand Chain, Illinois, is. It's just a tiny little town. But uh, my story is a little bit different from these guys. Uh, I've been I've been in entertainment, uh, television, and performance uh, all of my life too. Not in Branson. I've been here for six, seven seasons since 2012. Okay. It was my first season here, but uh, I grew up in a Southern Gospel music family. My dad was a bass singer and a bass player uh, for several uh, Southern Gospel groups, and, and it was kind of like Troy. It was I was always around that, always as a little five-year-old kid begging, just begging to let, have those guys let me come on the bus oh, and yeah. take a trip with them, and uh, and they finally kind of relented, and uh, it was it was great. So, well, you can come with us, but you have a job to do. So if you're going to, you know, there's no free ride here. If you're going to travel with the band and be on the bus and, and be around us, um, you know, you're going to have to do something. So that I, I got my first tech job was carrying in mic cable bags and mic stands <laughs> for uh, the Glorylanders Quartet when my dad was singing with them in the in the 70s. So uh, wow. I just sort of started from there and got the incredible blessing of being able to perform on stage with my dad, um, performed, I, I was a performer in musical theater and, and always had my foot in television at the same time and, and um, just did a lot, of, a lot of things in the entertainment industry that, that sort of ended up leading me here at Branson to join this team. I don't know, I don't even know if you know this story. My first experience at this theater, I walked into the lobby, I had, you know, had my nice jacket on, had my, my, my resume and everything with me and uh, RP walks through the doors walks right up to me, doesn't say a word. <laughs> well, this ain't going to work. <laughs> walk right back in, ah. into the theater. Of course, I'm just standing there. You know, uh, you know what just happened? Of course, and then he turns around laughing and yeah. becomes Jake's A lot of times and... he'll run people off right off the bat. Because oh, yeah. they're like, wow, this guy's a jerk. It's He's fun testing you. newcomers like, interact with him the first time because you don't know. They yeah, don't they, know don't what to to, think. they don't know how to take him. I've had yeah. new people come and they're like, man, this guy, I don't think he likes me. Oh, he likes you. Yeah. You just, if he's not if he's not messing with if, you, that's yeah. when you if have to worry. If he's insulting yeah. you and calling you names, yeah. he really, you, you're good. Yeah, you're in. Yeah. yeah. And Mac does, Mac does, like I said, all the video. Uh, pre-work, the post-work. If you come to our show and you see the screens and there's stuff, you know, running back here, still photos or video work or whatever, that's all Mac doing all that stuff. And, and our video board out front of the theater that rolls and rotates, he builds all those uh, ads or what do you call them? Uh, just, yeah, just spots. Spots, just, yeah. yeah, spots. That's, that's the <laughs> technical spots. But uh, Anything you see social media wise that has anything to do with video, that's Mac. These Tourist Tuesday videos, he puts all that together. And it's not just standing behind a camera, uh, it's also the work that goes into it afterward, the editing and, and cutting. Because, you know, we may talk here for 30, 45 minutes, but he's got to whittle it down to 12 to 15 minutes. So, he, you know, he take, we take, you know, cut and splice. And it's, sure, it's, yeah. it's a very interesting gig. And it's, it's uh, watching it, I mean, it's like, God, how do you do that stuff? It's, it's an art. 
Yeah, it, just like all these. Well, gigs it, are. and it it is. It's it's you know, every position in this this building. You know, in in the booth and the, with spots and even even stage managers. Everything. It, there's there's more of an artisticness to it than there really is a technical skill. I mean, absolutely. There, there are guys who who have great technical skills and are very very smart people who just don't get that. You also, that feel of live entertainment. You also and, need to know music too. Absolutely, yeah. For well, sure. and which is you know, a great thing because Troy's a musician. Yeah, I'm a musician. You're all musicians. Jones is a musician. Yeah. So you you have that understanding, and I think that's something that that sort of sets our theater apart. You have that feel where everything's just working so smoothly together, and it's just sort of a seamless mm -hmm. feeling. Well, Nothing feels like it's jammed in. Yeah. Well, that's like with the lights. Yeah. You know, I mean. Uh, we hit a big accent or something, then Troy knows it needs to foul on that accent. Yeah, I mean, boom, I, I, you know? I like to, like I play the lighting console like I would play drums. Yeah, or run the lighting console like I play drums, because it is you know you're you're, you're bouncing things off hits and mm -hmm. the dancers are kicking and so it all kind of ties together. And you may not notice that, but you do notice that from the crowd. Like there's something you walk away with and like man that was like really crisp and tight and everything blacked out at the same time and. Uh, well, same with same with Jones with the, with the sound. You know, you got a dynamics, and this needs yeah. to come up here, and this that, and might need a little hit of reverb on this line, and might net, you know delay on this line, and it's all you know. He's not just standing back there doing this. I mean, there's a lot that goes into to that as well. It takes everybody, the band, the singers, everybody has to be on the same page. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and everything's about making that experience for yeah. them. I mean, I mean, if you're going to come in, you're going to buy a ticket. And, and, and sit in, in that seat for a couple of hours. I mean, it's it's up to all of us to really, to to entertain you, to make you have a great time, uh, and to give you something that, that is, it, it can t sort of take you away from the real world for a couple of hours and then you just really enjoy. Absolutely. You know, I sing in the show. Have, I, you, he was telling me about that. Yeah, I, that's, did. Yeah, I, I do, thought I, so. I do a couple yeah. of numbers. Yeah. I noticed that the other night. You got a pretty decent voice. Yeah, I do, yeah. I do a couple of numbers. <laughs> Talk to the crowd a little yeah, bit and that yeah. kind of stuff. Now today, though, I'm I wanted to dress like the rest of the tech crew. You know, they're right. all black, Clay Cooper yeah. black, and all I that stuff. I think the tech sing too. Yeah, well, huh? yeah, we, we sing on well, our headsets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, they all have headsets back there. Uh, Huggy Bear and Susan up in the spotlights there, and they all have phones and stuff. And we have phones on each side of the stage, and you know, a lot of times I'll pick it up. Hey, you know, doesn't that? But there, there's a. It'd be interesting to hear the conversations that go on during the. Well, I probably wouldn't want to hear the conversations. <laughs> we we could be about me. We could never yeah. do. It's all but, good. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. But yeah, it's you know, it's a. It'd be fun to watch to video and hear the audio of a whole show of just the tech conversations going on on the on the clear comms back there. <laughs> so when you're when you guys are sitting back there in the booth and the shows are going on I mean honestly you guys you get pleasure when when somebody messes up on stage it's got to be fun right? I mean well, not it, necessarily it, pleasure it's but it's not an evil pleasure it's not an evil it's, pleasure but it's like oh you know, like it's just yeah. funny like the other the other night when you guys had the fall yeah they are. Uh, you know it's just you know first yeah. of all it's like oh I hope, I hope nobody got hurt. Yeah. And uh, oh well, everybody's fine. Let's all have a good, you know, laugh out of it because then we can. Right, sort but of, you know, you know, like if a dancer, if, oh yeah, you know, falls or I mean, because it happens. It's like Oop. oh yeah. Like, I mean, one I always think about, which at first we all cringed uh, when Colt was younger, and he oh, was yeah. walking down the stairs and he tripped and like face first came down the stairs. He hits the first step and go and falls head first and just five or six steps doo, 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 and. And Tina's singing her line at this time, and he looks up, and he's laying on the floor, and he starts, babe, I've got yeah. you, babe. He didn't miss a beat. And Dave <laughs> no. reached over with one arm yeah. while playing bass guitar with the other and just pulled him right up. And Tina was just standing there, you know, like, they never stopped singing. He never missed a beat. And he just, tuk, 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 tuk. I think we all look for stuff like that because, again, we do this, you know, we do it every day. We do it mm -hmm. every day. So when something out of the ordinary happens yeah. that might make us chuckle, it's that's fun. That's when we get an extra DVD. Absolutely. And that's and that those those are those are the things that always stand out in your memory because, yeah. I mean, we, we are in routine and 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 when things are all going great and going right, you know, it's just part of part of your everyday thing but when when something does go wrong if, if, if it's with somebody on stage if it's with mm -hmm. a musician if it's with one of us i mean mm -hmm. those are things that we can laugh about later on oh, and yeah. tell stories for years years about so. yeah absolutely did you notice last night when i went and rubbed uh, robbie during the yes yes absolutely <laughs> I, I got to get a copy of that yeah, yeah. we've got well, you've got one for okay. it, 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 his face was like don't touch me yeah, exactly <laughs> we had a, 
<laughs> I'd made fun of, well, not made fun, but I was talking to a couple in the, in the front row last night, and, and I looked down, and I noticed this woman just holding his hand and rubbing his arm, I'm like, oh, is that your wife? And he said, no, <laughs> we're just friends. I'm like, well, I, I don't normally pet my friends. About 10, 15 minutes later in the show, I'm up here singing a song, Robbie's standing there playing the dobro, and I just went over to him during this slow dobro solo and just kind of gave him one of these, a couple of these, and he just looked at me and just started like, had this kind of grin, but, but don't yeah, touch me. Don't touch me. Yeah. Yeah. Anyhow, you know, that's just, you, get, you know, stuff oh, like that happens. people in the crowd too, because you interact with them so much, and you get some of them that are like live wires. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, we, yes. we, have yeah. So, we have so much fun when we, point, when we get like, those that's folks. Funny. That, that's funny. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's good stuff for yeah. sure. Well, and, and, and speaking of those people, and that's, that's something too, that uh, our booth's all the way at the back of the house, and of course, when the show's over, uh, everybody's walk filing out we have those doors open because it's hot in there mm -hmm. uh and, and we see all the people filing out and it's just it's just great seeing those people's reactions to the experience they've just had that they, oh, they yeah. they're, they're they're smiling they're loving it and so many people actually it's so different here because so many people will just stop and look at us we're all standing there and they'll just wave and just say you guys did a great job oh, too yeah. really? but, but that really feeling that really gives you a good i was going to ask yes. if you get if is it common to get people to stop by and say hey great yeah, job sure. yeah, it is, it is. when yeah, they're coming good. towards us i always there's it's going to go one of two ways yeah yeah, uh, yeah. And a they usually think i'm the sound guy so if it's <laughs> too loud they go to the light so, guy. yeah they're either going to complain or not most of the time it's it, they come comp they compliment us and and it's great, but sometimes you'll see that look in their eye and you think, okay, here we go. Yeah, shut the door, end? shut the door. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the lighting guy. Uh, I mean, we, we've thought about putting a tip jar up by the doors, yeah. but we didn't know what management would think about yeah, that. I'm, I'm all for it. If you guys want to tip the sound, the, the, the tech crew when you're here, Feel free to stop off and give them a five dollar bill. Buy some coffee and bring it in. Donuts, oh yeah, and coffee, food, Wendy's, coffee. 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 Yeah, we, yeah. We, 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 drink, we drink a lot we of drink coffee. A lot of yeah. coffee. Well, here we are. Thanks again for tuning in. We're with Troy and Mac and and Chris Jones here, the the tech crew of the Clay Cooper Theater. And uh, if you're ever here at the theater and you're seeing some of the shows, the Hey Goods, the number one hits of the '60s, or Hot Rods and High Heels, or our show. Stop by and holler at them on the way in or the way out. They'd appreciate it. And if you want to drop a dollar bill or five to them, they're probably cool with that too. So, you know, we, we do encourage that. So if you want to tip the guys, they, they certainly deserve it. So thanks for tuning in. Tourist Tuesday, Clay Cooper Theater, Tech Crew, and we'll see you next week. This is the greatest show.